Welcome to Lodi, California. In this video, you'll see the road performance assessment, a service which we provide at many shows, as well as the installation of the SS100 bell crank, the motion control units, and a safety plus steering stabilizer. Jim is in the process of replacing the old stock bell crank, that's a Freightliner bell crank, with the new uh, Super Steer bell crank. This actually has the tapered roller bearings as opposed to the metal bushings. This bell crank was so bad, there was actually a knocking, and you could see side to side play in the drag link. So we're gonna go ahead, and Jim's working on replacing that right now. The SS100 bell crank, it's slightly elongated on one side, and so what we always do, the sticker goes up, and they'll go right into place. So when you're installing these, put the sticker up. Now we're gonna be putting in the motion control units. These go in the airline to the airbags. And as you can probably hear, we're releasing the air. You wanna make sure anytime you get ready to put in the motion control units, you release the air in the airline system, and then you install the units. Gonna use some soapy water, spray it on there, see if there's any bubbles, and that'll determine whether there's leaks or not. So this is a safety plus bracket that's mounting to the axle and the safety plus is gonna run right along here along the tie rod. It'll mount to the tie rod and thereby eliminate a lot of that play that we're gonna experience. Now what we've already done, you have to be careful on installing a safety plus, is to make sure there's no other play in the steering linkage. Anything literally from the steering wheel down to the rubber on the tires where it meets the road. Okay, now that the safety plus is installed, we're gonna mark the tie rod on each side of the bracket that's attaching to it. And that way when we do the adjustments, which are very, very small, we're talking like a sixteenth of an inch, can determine or lead to a uh, pull to the, either the right or left. And if anything, you want it to air slightly towards the passenger side. Okay, we're now in the third phase of the road performance assessment. We've already gone out on the discovery phase, so we've discovered what's going on with the handling and suspension. Uh, the diagnosis where we've actually gone under the coach and inspected literally from the steering wheel down to the tires and every steering component therein. Okay, and now we're on the delivery phase. We've actually installed the SS100 bell crank, the Safety Plus with bracket kit and the motion control unit. So now we're going out to verify that the results that we are anticipating have actually taken place. Right at the outset of the delivery phase of the road performance assessment, we noticed a left hand pull with the safety plus. So what we're gonna do is just adjust it. And since it's behind the axle, we're going the opposite direction. So we have a left hand pull, so we're adjusting to the right just slightly. I got the lane change, so we're gonna change the left lane. It's clear, and here we go. And now, once I've verified that everything's as it should be, now the driver, the owner of the coach, is now verifying all the results. It uh, drives down the road a lot more steady with steering and uh, a lot less uh, uh, body roll through the, the low RPMs, low speeds, and and just seems to track down the highway a little bit truer. All right, Alan, well that completes the road performance assessment. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate all the uh, hard work that you guys did today and, and uh, the improvements that those parts did for us. Appreciate your help. Thank you.